top of the morning to you, CMU students. Welcome to yet another week of The Update, the show that really should be 100% update, but is actually only 50% update and 50% nonsense. This week, we have a lot more events to cover. We made it through midterms. Well, at least I hope we did. Uh, we're inching toward April, and we narrowly escaped the massive snowstorm that hit literally everywhere else in Colorado, but here. That's the magic of GJ, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, I know no one forgot about the update and how it ended last week, but I'm here to report that Justin is alive and well and is unfortunately back again to co-host this week. Apparently, Aaron had some incident this morning and couldn't make it today, but I'm sure jealous Justin over there had nothing to do with any of that. With that being said, let's jump into this week's news, Mavs. I'm your host, Sydney Flotron. I will not confirm or deny those allegations, and frankly, I'd like my attorney present. I wish Aaron a safe and long recovery. Ow. I'm your favorite co-host, Justin Flatt. Welcome to the update. Yeah, um, I'm sure Justin's giant black eye isn't suspicious at all. Anyway, we have an awesome new guest. Nico Ortega is joining us here on the update today. Nico is the editor-in-chief for CMU's newspaper, The Crite. Nico, let's get you out here, bud. Hi, Sid. Hi, what's up, Nico? Oh, Thank not much. Oh, awesome. Well, thanks for being here today. Um, so let's get right into it. Tell me a little bit about The Crite and what your role is and what you guys do. Uh, well, The Crite is the newspaper. It's the Criterion. Okay. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's great to be here. Um, you know, we put out news every week. We put out a lot of articles covering many different sections, including news, sports, art and life, opinions. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm the editor-in-chief, so what I do is I oversee the entire publication. Awesome. So over the years, what's been your favorite story to write for the Crite? So when I started, I started a humor call with a humor column. Okay. Yeah, and it was all about eating crayons. Eating crayons? Tell me why. Because why not? Okay, sure. Okay, and if any students would want to get involved in the Crite, how'd they go about doing that? Well, we meet every Monday at 5 p.m. in Houston Hall, 204. Okay, perfect. Sounds easy enough. Last question. Do you happen to have any job openings for the role of a scraggly newspaper boy? You know, like the ones from Newsies that wear the long tights and like the MC Hammer pants and they just ride around on their little bikes and chuck newspapers at houses. We actually do, but um, the waiting list is like five years long to get on that. Five years. Okay. Well, that's... That's a shame. Uh, thank you for the information. The only reason I asked is I think that'd be the perfect career move for Justin. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, 100%. Five years. That's okay. We can wait. All righty. Well, thank you so much for the info hey. again, and we can't wait to see what's going on in the crate. Hey, thank you for having awesome. me. Awesome. Of course. All righty. Everyone, you know what time it is. Let's see what's new in the news this week. All righty. On Monday, Head on over to The Point anytime from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. for the final day of their March Madness watch party. Just like last week, it's going to be an awesome event. The bar will be open all day, so if I were you, I'd honestly just skip class, go claim your couch spot in front of the TV, and live off nothing but mozzarella sticks, coffee, and pure adrenaline the rest of the day. But hey, that's just my humble suggestion. <laughs> On Tuesday, join Sustainability Council for a discussion on war, refugees, and climate change in Escalante 318 from 5 to 6.30. This is a collaboration with ISMP, BSA, and the Political Science Club, and Dr. Casey will be a guest speaker. On Wednesday, there will be another opportunity to donate blood at the St. Mary's Blood Drive in the plaza from 11 to 2 p.m. Remember to eat well and stay hydrated before you donate. And as always, it's a great day to save lives. Oh, even though I will admit sometimes donating blood can make you a little lightheaded, but you know what else makes me lightheaded? Midterms. 
I know we've heard old midterms already, but here for a little campus midterm recap is our favorite local street correspondent, Dylan. What's on the people's minds out there, Dylan? Thanks, Sid. I'm out here on campus asking students their opinion on midterms. So now that midterms are coming up, I just wanted to ask, is it okay to cheat on your significant other? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna need you to agree with me, that way I could show my ex and prove that she was just overreacting about the whole thing. Um, yeah, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Now that midterms are coming up, do you know how to commit tax evasion? Um, uh, so you go to school here? Yeah. Uh, vas a la escuela aquí? Yeah, I do. How long have you been here? ¿Cuántos años has tenido aquí? I've been here for two years now. Do you pay a lot of money to come here? Uh, ¿Pagas mucho dinero o bien poquito? So what kind of tree are you? Spicy tree, I see. ¿Cómo está tu día? Uh, está muy bien. Uh, si hablo español, eso no trabajo. Uh, no sé qué decir. Um, back to you, Dylan. I need to take a Spanish class. <laughs> Where'd he go? Hey bro, how come we can't get any people to talk to us right I don't know, okay? I have been trying my hardest. Why haven't you done anything? Because huh? I'm supposed to talk Spanish and I don't know how to speak English. Yeah, you're speaking it right now. Yeah. Does anyone want to be interviewed? Shut up, Jesus, I'm looking. Hey, do you want to be interviewed for CMU TV? Hi, me. Now I just wanted to ask, who's the better host for the update? The awesome Aaron no. or Justin? You know, this is all I get now. All I get is questions about how much better Aaron is than me. What an emotional man. Dude, that was all good. You can shut up. You can do this, Dylan. You can do this, Dylan. They do like me. They just... <laughs> I'm sorry, this... It's been a long day. Here, host the show for a second. Eight minutes. So, what's your name? My name is Dylan. Leave this place now. I'm still here on campus asking, oh, hi, me. No, and another thing, like, not only do I have to hear about this all the freaking time, but all I hear is about how much better Aaron is than me all the time. What are you doing? Dude, my lemonade. Okay, I'm back. Okay, you can do this. So what school do you go to? Colorado Mesa University. That's about all I had. I'm done for the day. <laughs> well, that's about it for me. Back to you in the studio, Sid. Thank you, Dylan, for the always insightful info. More importantly, thank you to the poor souls who are subject to participation in that. You guys are doing great. Moving on, also on Wednesday, head to the CAF from 12 to 1 and join Sustainability Council again for an hour of Weigh the Waste. That's right, while it sounds gross, for one hour the CAF will be collecting all waste and weighing it for a demonstration on just how much food waste we go through in a day. And speaking of taking out the trash, I'll toss you back over to Justin. Ha ha. In the morning, I'm making waffles. That's right, Thursday the CAF will be celebrating National Waffle Day from 12 to 2. So head on over and experience all of the waffle goodness. But definitely don't sit there and individually fill every waffle square with syrup because, you know, we're adults. Also on Thursday, the rec center is hosting a cornhole tournament at the basketball courts from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Pre-sign up is required, so make sure to grab your friends and sign up in advance at the rec center front desk. On Friday, there's a couple of choices. First of all, there's a baseball game at 6 p.m. Yes, we are finally getting into night game season and hopefully Fireworks will be coming soon. Second, the annual Mr. Mav pageant will be in the ballroom from 7 to 9 p.m. Feel free to come, enter, and be judged on these categories. Are you ready? Write these down. 
best pickup lines, best talent, best costume, and best dance move. And if I see any of you sorry saps doing the dice roll as your dance move, I'm leaving immediately, and you may be subject to be hit with my trusty old soap sock. Finally, RHA and PAC are teaming up to host Mavs After Dark from 8 to 10 p.m. in the MavPav for a fun game or two of laser tag. Get ready to run, and most importantly, good luck, tributes. On Saturday, we've got a whole lot of sports and stuff. Baseball plays at 12 p.m., and women's lacrosse plays at 1 p.m. Another important announcement is that if you haven't seen or heard yet, we are all now eligible to get our COVID vaccines. Check for an email from Safety and use the link they sent us to sign up for an appointment if you'd like one. They are free and there will be no copay. That's awesome. I know I already made my appointment. On Sunday, we've got even more sports. Baseball is going to slap some dingers around again at 12. Women's soccer is also on at 12 and men's soccer at 2.30. Just a reminder, all games are free to see you students as long as you reserve tickets in advance. Another important reminder is that registration dates have been released and all of the fall 21 2021 classes are out to view. Make sure to go view your registration date and plan classes in advance if you don't think and if you don't think your assigned registration date is right, just know that we here on the update could literally care less. Go argue about it with Iris. That sounds a lot like a you problem. Hey, also, does anyone see where my soap sock went? Well, it looks like we have a great week ahead of us. Mavs, I'm so glad I could officially come back as your favorite co-host, this time with no interruptions. <sighs> Not Miles, man. CMU, did you see that? I just soap rock Justin's world with my new favorite weapon, the soap sock. <sighs> I think he's the one who won't be bothering us again. See you next week, Mavs. Oh, that's where my soap sock went. Well, I guess this is now a me problem. Enjoy the week, Mavs. I'm clearly going to be spending mine doing some much-needed couples counseling with these two. Keep it classy, Grand Junction, and stay updated. <laughs>